And greetings everybody, welcome back to Rebuilding the Commonwealth with myself. I'm going to be uh, continuing with Jamaica Plains, our beautiful cemetery, which every time I look at it I'm still extra pleased with this. God, it looks so good. It looks so good after all the work we've put into this world. But uh, the church is now starting to let us down. Which is exactly what we're going to focus on this episode. So we've got all our settlers here going home for the evening. Um, we have this flower bed and this nice Nuka Cola sign to give this place a bit of a just a little bit of character. Uh, this is on my top agenda to build. I was tempted to put a room over the top of here to create a tunnel, but that's for a that's for a skull session in a little while. Whoa. That was unexpected. Okay. <clears throat> so we're going to be doing some work on the church. Now, there's quite a lot to do in here. <laughs> it's, um, there's trash literally everywhere. There's these pews that are sunk into the floor. There's, oh, we have to clean this place up. I say clean it up, we are actually going to be completely deleting this church because we have a fresh pre-war version. Um, I say pre-war version, it's that's not strictly true. It's uh, kind of pre-war. It's this church but with the roof done up, uh, everything intact and repainted. So it's like, um, it's like a refurbished church. Uh, that's exactly what we're going to be working on. So we're going to lay the groundwork, get rid of all this crap and trash and all this kind of stuff off the floor. Might as well keep these uh, Nuka Cola bottles. Uh, these pews will have to be manually deleted. Not sure why I can't just scrap them. But uh, we are in the builds extended, so could just be they never intended them to be scrapped. I have a feeling with the ground the way it is, I have a feeling this big bit in the middle here is not something I can actually delete. I'm going to have to build around it, which would be kind of unfortunate. Plus we've got these settlers living in here as well. Yeah, I don't think that's uh, I don't think that's rubbish. I don't think we can delete that at all. But it does come up. It does come up when I look at it, so it could be part of the church. We're soon going to find out, aren't we? Okay. Uh, this is going to be your home for not much longer, guys. Sorry about that. Um, anything in here needs to be removed. Stains. Yes. Chairs. Rubbish. You name it. It has got to go. <laughs> Absolutely has to go. Uh, yeah, you guys are just sleeping down there. It's fine. Move out of here, guys. I am cleaning house. Scrapping all this will give me a lot of materials for the, um, the guns and all that. Uh, remember, if you have any suggestions for what I am going to build or uh, what I've already built, uh, any suggestions, please let me know in the comments. I do read those. I read every comment I get. And most of the time I reply to it, unless you're just telling me to uh, fuck off or something. All of this is rubbish. You can tell these churches were used to being uh, rented out or something. Funny, really, I'm not even a religious person in real life, like at all. Like, uh, I do, I do not, um, I do not follow the concept of religion. I, I never have. 
It's just uh, never been something I subscribe to. But uh, here I am building uh, building a church of all things. Uh, that's it. That's everything I can scrap on this floor here. Uh, that's all part of the church. These chairs and trash need to go. And that's it. All these boxes. Uh, all this trash as well. The screws are good. Uh, the screws are used for weapon attachment, so I can continue to expand the Minuteman armory. I still need to plan where I'm going to put the artillery for this settlement, because every settlement needs artillery. And an artillery crew, of course. Papers and trash. Uh, anything on the roof I need to be aware of. Ooh, I feel like, despite the amount of health I have, which is in the thousands, if I slip off here, I'm a dead man. Uh, all the stuff that leads onto the church roof I can scrap. Especially as we have access to the church. All of this is going to be rebuilt anyway. So that's not a problem. Whoa. Lovely stuff. Right, what I'm going to do is sleep till the morning because of these people in here. Uh, I think it already is morning. But we're going to sleep until it's mid-morning or early morning. Perfect. Now these beds need to be removed. Uh, you can get the hell out of here. And tell you all. <laughs> Whatever. Okay, we're going to have to be very careful here. We need to disable all of these pews. I think that was some debris under there that I could have gotten rid of. Never mind. Yep, just that. Yep. I I think this bit here in the middle is part of... It's got to be part of the terrain. When I point at it... Hmm... So I'm going to absolutely smack myself if I'm not correct on this. I'm going to be devastated. I have to make a backup save, but I can't make backup saves in Jamaica Plain anymore. Uh, if I try and load a file which is anywhere remotely urban, it will crash. This church, as far as I know, is just one big entity. So if I disable it... I wonder. You know, it didn't take me long to clean that out, so... Fuck the safety save. What I'm going to do, so I keep the church perfectly lined up where it is... I uh, can scrap the door. We do have a good position. That's the blue church. So we've got the clean church. Wow. Okay, that's... This is going to be pretty tricky to place, not going to lie. This building is way too big. Um... This looks and feels really weird. Okay, that is close enough. <laughs> oh, 
Well, this is... This is quite something. Okay, so... The real church needs to be moved over. <laughs> oh, God. God, what am I doing? What the fuck am I doing? Okay, I can tell the church is slightly off center. Okay, this is the good church. Okay, I think the blue church is slightly bigger. Okay, what uh, object ID is the blue church? Okay, so that is A5, A3. And the other one is B95. If this goes wrong... I'm not going to lie, guys. I'm kind of nervous. This blue church. Okay, so the blue church needs to line up a little bit further back than that. What the hell am I doing? I'm sorry if any of you guys suffer with like epilepsy or something. This has got to look weird. This has got to look very weird. Okay. I think we're in place. And for my next trick... We've got it. We've got the blue church. Okay. Let's remove these. One by one. Scrap all of this. That's trash. Um, what does this look like in Potter's Field? Is a good question. I think it needs to come back a few inches. Like that. Yeah, because that fence panel was just about in there. The flower bed is looking good. Uh, we have a slight bullet hole on the grass here. Oh, okay. Needs to come forward a couple of feet there. <laughs> oh my god. I've never dealt with a building this big. I'm not going to lie. That looks almost perfect. I remember the cot was nearly sticking through the wall when I first put it in. Um, that looks like a graphical glitch under there. I don't think there's anything I can do about that. Hang on a minute. Are these windows separate? A5, A3. Oh, I wonder what the hell that was. The windows are separate. Um, okay, so the windows up here are also separate. I suppose that's a good indication of whether we're on point here. I think we're on point. <laughs> Okay, A5, A3. 
B93. That can now be disabled. And the church can come one step closer to me here. <laughs> Trust me, I'm feeling the tension on this one. Well, don't know what that is. Uh, that is the head of a pew. That's fine. Disable that. Uh, okay. So, okay. So line that up with the door frame ever so slightly. What does this do to the flower beds? Flower beds are looking good. The fence is a tad off, but it's a change I can live with. Uh, the door frame will have to be removed. That is fine. That is looking good on this side. That comes up to the right height. Windows on the back look good. Uh, let's remove those shrubs. Surplus to requirements. Oh my goodness, the colour of this. God, that's vibrant. Looks like religion in the Commonwealth is back thriving again. The problem is, does the church actually have a door? Because I think without this, the church doesn't have a door. But A5, A3, that's to disable. I can always put my own door frame in the church. That's fine. Okay, now here's the, here's the brown trousers moment. I need to lift this up over the crap in the middle. So the church's foundation is a fair bit higher, but it doesn't look, you know, it doesn't look out of place. I can replace these stairs with something a little bit nicer. We'll put the cot away. And we'll raise the church up one more. That's it. That's above all of the rubbish in the church. It still seems to be grounded everywhere, which is what we want. That was there to begin with. That's fine. No issues with the retaining wall. I think that was always there. Rocks in there is fine. I mean, you can see into the church from here, but that's not an issue. The foundation's good on this side. Okay, we've done it. We've successfully done a church transplant. <laughs> a church transplant. Oh, and... The retaining wall stairs were tall enough to get to the church door anyway. Beautiful. <laughs> okay, that was... That was a lot less painful than I thought it would be. Let's survey our new building, shall we? So the wood style all appears to be the same. Um... I think that is another part of the church that's separate. A5, A3, B92. Yes, obviously the gantry on the inside here was a separate part. Uh, yeah, all of that is integral. That's fine. The wood looks like it bows a little bit there, but I think that's the roof style. 
Stairs up are intact. Slight clipping issue on the inside here, but nothing that can't be lived with. That roof looks absolutely pristine. I love that. We could put a sniper up here. We could put a Minuteman sniper up in the church. Look how far he could see. Absolutely beautiful. Quick save. Uh, can I land on the fence? Oh, ouch. Never mind. Beautiful. <laughs> Absolutely beautiful. Okay. That is the panic over. Structures. I think we need to put some door frames in, but I need a nice one. So, homemaker. Structures. Doors. Do we have a full size church door? I'm not sure if Homemaker has like a pre built one. I mean, it's got gates and stuff like that, but. Hidden concrete door. <laughs> yeah, we'll just we'll just put that on the church. That looks fine. <laughs> looks very place of worshipy. <laughs> yes. I mean that's the biggest of a church door that you'll find, but that just won't fit. Trailers? No, don't want trailers. No, that's way way too big. Okay, no. We will need to find a proper door frame for this. Uh, the standard wood is not going to look very nice. Brick buildings. Is there not a nice looking door frame in here? No. <laughs> no, there is not. Okay, I'll tell you what. We'll leave that for now. I probably can find something better. So, furniture, surfaces, miscellaneous. Well, this church obviously had a lectern. Ooh, I think that... Yeah, that's a clipping issue. I think that's where one of the old church walls used to be. Nonetheless, uh, we won't be in here too often. This is much more of a decorative building than anything. I mean, you can still see the cemetery outside. The glass looks great. And it does look pretty glorious. Minus the broken trailer out the back. But we, we won't talk about that. Seats. Benches. Now, we do have pews, I seem to recall. Now, uh, these pews are actually functional. They're not on their sides or ruined or anything like that. I have a decent gap in between them. What we'll do is we'll mark this as a leisure area. Granted, there isn't a great deal of stuff to do, so we shouldn't get the entirety of the settlement here. We should get a few sort of uh, church worshippers come. Getting these straight is a proper ball ache. Just sort of lining their feet up with the uh, ridges in the wood. There we go, that's three straight ones. Uh, place that there. Brilliant. Uh, 
Those pews are properly out of line. <laughs> Damn. Okay. Place that here. Be fair, if I put two rows, we probably will get the entire settlement in. So we're just going to put the one. I'm going to put one line for the um, for the religious among us. Yep. Uh, these things are way too close to each other, so let's take one of those out. that across and button that pew there yep and one more so one weird thing about moving you can't uh, you can't sort of bring it closer or further away it's just exactly in relation to your camera, if that makes sense. Beautiful. And I think there's something here that would be quite uh, useful, actually. If we remove the front pew, one of the pieces of furniture, I believe, is a praying bench. Yes. Let me just see if that face is the correct way. No, it doesn't faces the wrong way. Uh, so let's remove that. Um, place, place it from this angle. Okay, so I don't think our character does that. I think the NPCs do, though. So there's a praying animation, I believe. Uh, we can have, we can have like a preacher in here to uh, to give service. Uh, we can also create him a bedroom upstairs in here. Probably have like a cleaner or like an assistant up here as well. So let's put in a couple of beds in this church. I mean, this is going to be a nice little community. Lovely and welcoming community for people who actually want to work hard, of course. You can tell this wall. Actually, I think that's where the window is supposed to go. It clips when you're when you're in that. They've got enough space here. I could probably put a desk corner there. That's fine. Uh, one second, guys. That's uh, somebody at my front door. Um, one moment. There we go. Sorry about that, guys. <clears throat> so, yeah, we have this. So, yeah, before I uh, restarted the recording there, there is one thing I did do, because I am paranoid that I'll lose my save, and that is install a railing up top. Uh, I don't believe there's a way I can get over this, so I have basically child-proofed my balcony. <laughs> I figured if I didn't have one, it would be the one time I fall off, break my legs, die, and that would be the end of my save file. <laughs> if I didn't save it in the right place or something. So, since we have this, I think lighting is in order. Uh, especially since it's night time, we might as well light it while we have some night to burn. Oh, wow. They're both doing it. 
that's actually really cool. Nice. I didn't think uh, we would have that many takers for this place. Suits me down to the ground though. Um, how much light is this going to give? Uh, very, very little. <laughs> Uh, street lights are pretty bad. I'm not going to use that for inside a church, though. The thing is, the, the light bulb is still the very best lighting that you can possibly get. It's a little bit scary, to be honest. Uh, ceiling lights... Now we could probably hang these uh, string lights across uh, across this. Oh, these are just going to be a bloody nightmare to sort out. <laughs> yeah, that's just going to be a nightmare. Lighting. What, what actually have we got? I mean, I could always put oil lamps down. What am I even talking about? We have candles. That's, that's literally like... That is just a classic for a, uh, a church. So we're going to put in some tables. I think just a couple of simple tables here will do uh, for the aesthetic down here. And we'll put in some candles. Uh, oh, oh, that is going to be... Oh, that is going to be one hell of a oil cost. So yeah, I mean, it's it's not a perfect solution, but it is a good one because churches still do use candles. Uh, so we're gonna have a couple of really small ones there. People are going to light those candles. Uh, sort that out. Um, I'm thinking that if you're going to go upstairs, you're probably going to use lanterns. Yeah, I think going upstairs, it's quite contemporary for the uh, church to use lanterns as opposed to electric lights. So we're going to put in a couple of bedside cabinets for this. Just a couple of simple ones, yeah. This person will have a slightly different one. And under the lights, miscellaneous. You shall keep yourself an oil lantern. not too bad um, you might keep one in here you probably store a few supplies up here as well I am half tempted to put a spotlight up here though the only issue I'd have with that is getting the wires from the uh, ground up to here would be a fucking ball ache to um to put it that way. So I'm going to light it with a lantern for now. Oh. <laughs> okay. Fair enough. That's not how I was expecting that to go, but 
Let's put that back in the workshop. There we go. Put your lantern up on the railing there. But uh, that could go flying off quite easily. Let's put it down here where whatever guardsman is not likely to drop it. I mean, they might only be lanterns, but they wouldn't be too uh, easy to replace. This is a bit of a nightmare. That'll do. Perfect. Nice lights up here. Up in the church tower. Um, up here is still a tad dark. Um, so I think, although we're not using a lot of electric power, if they're this high up, I think those hanging lights, the kind of rope ones, would be good here. String of lights. Sort of pin that above the door. I'm trying to get it to hang from that beam just there. That's actually exactly what I was looking for. Oh, for... Oh, fucking hell. Okay, I think I just saved that. <laughs> Thought I just completely ruined my church. Uh, everything still seems to be centred. We're fine. <laughs> Panic over. Panic over. Okay. Change that to movement step five. They're sort of closer to the uh, end of the war than anything. So I will move this down just a tad and slightly away from us. Okay, that's going to need slightly better placement than that. That's better. Yeah, that fits there slightly better. Bring that down a tad. Uh, bring that towards me a tad. Brilliant. So I've got a little bit of light up here. Um, yeah, they've got some lanterns in here. That's fine. Uh, if they're not church people, they're likely to have maybe books, books up here. I think that would be a nice touch. So... I believe it's under office, books and news. Uh, burnt textbook, yes, it's burnt, but it's got a decent look to it, at the very least. Yeah, I mean, it looks like it could still have stuff in it. Maybe like that's a bookmark or something, so not going to rule that out. And of course, uh, the late edition newspaper, because... That's sort of customary for our settlements. Uh, there needs to be, I think, a railing around here. The last thing you want to do is fall down this. So the add-on deck has railings here. Do we have any nice and short ones, though? 
Yes, they do. <laughs> Thought I just completely dropped something there. Um, that needs to come up by one. I think that needs a post in there now. That would go right through the church roof because it is massive. Um... Looks like this is going to be a manual job, which I can, I can do <laughs> if I stop moving the goddamn church. Oh, you wouldn't want to live in here at the moment, would you? You're about to go to bed one night and the whole building just moves. That needs to come up. Get a post fitted there just so that it looks decent. Cool. At least you're not going to be falling off this in the middle of the night. Excellent. Now, furniture. You're going to want a desk. I know you're going to want a sort of desk to work out in here. So it's going to be under containers. Uh, we're going to have a couple of desks. I don't think I have a smart one though. Yeah, can I have this metal desk in the corner? Uh, bookshelf. If it covers this window, that's not a problem. Little bit of uh, privacy or so. Looks like I knocked over. Uh, yeah, so I knock, knocked over the lantern. How, uh, how nice of me. <laughs> Playing games, flip the lantern. Never mind. Excuse me. Uh, this is more like a writing desk than anything. So you can have a chair here. I mean, <clears throat> he's likely to keep a diary. He's, he's religious. He's quite focused on that. Maybe now that he's settling down in Jamaica Plain, he's got a home. He doesn't have to worry about up guns anymore you can actually live up to you know do no harm to others so quite useful to give him some stuff to write with and you know enjoy himself here uh, I think all of these are replica books oh my god <laughs> that is a lot of goddamn books This is where I wish I had a macro. <laughs> so many. So many. Ah, my fingers are dying. Okay. Um, burnt magazines. I don't want any of those. Don't have any overdue books. Don't we have like folders or something? I don't think we do. Pro snap camera, uh, desk fan, those warm days here, uh, boxes of supplies, he's, he's going to have some of that, ah there we go, folders, so he'll have a couple on his desk here, maybe he keeps his journals in a, in a tall or short order or such, he's going to have his pens, his pencils that he can write with. Whoa. That was a 
bit spooky. Yes, uh, let me store those. <laughs> Don't just uh, vanish with it. So yeah, maybe um, maybe he's one of those people. He has a typewriter. He can just write what he wants on a typewriter. He doesn't need to uh, doesn't need to worry about all that. Uh, packet of cigarettes. Maybe um, maybe he hasn't smoked. Maybe he's keeping them for a friend of his or such. Uh, wouldn't be uncommon. Uh, this bookcase I can actually remove because I'm going to replace it with a do-it-to-your-shelf version. And I'm actually going to put some books on it. Yeah, it's going to be a post-war. This is a fairly new community after all. Hence why everything's nice and freshly painted. It's been, you know, really nicely done up. So library and storage. Just have some books in there. Some stacked, some falling over, maybe on the shelf below that. Um, what's that one with the folders there? Yeah, it's got a folder on that, so that's where he's storing his folders on the cabinet there. Uh, some storage boxes, maybe his archive, some extra stuff. So keeps his books there. Maybe he's written a few on his own. He's got some books to study and learn. A magnifying glass. He's writing things by himself there. Just uh, generally enjoying peace and solitude. I mean, this place does look really uh, tranquil from up here. Albeit a bit glitchy. Paintings. Yep, there'll be some contemporary artwork in here. Some nice uh, contemporary stuff. These paintings are so big. But uh, portraits across the hall here, that wouldn't be so bad. Painting of a landscape. I mean, that's the cabots, if I'm uh, not mistaken. Um, in here will likely be some clutter. Um, household personal effects. No, it's going to be under, I believe, the workshop. No, I know something of a better. That's where we find it. So place a couple of boxes in here. Some warehouse supplies. So there's going to be a couple of these uh, boxes. Just where the those have moved in. Maybe are keeping things up here for safekeeping. And they won't keep weapons in here. I mean, this is a church. But... And keep some supplies, so gen general stuff. Wouldn't be uncommon to do that. Uh, where is kitchen and dining? There we go. Beverages. <laughs> yes, beverages. <laughs> Bottle of vodka. Yeah, someone's left that in the uh, in the crate. A certain somebody down on the uh, ground floor there. Uh, Nuka Cola bottles. There's probably going to be a couple of those. Probably steal those during communion. Keep your throat wet. Uh, there is a water bottle. Or just a purified water can. Oh, that is the lemonade. It's not that. Dirty water, purified water, that's that one. Place a few of those up here too. Beautiful. That person has not moved, I think they're stuck. I 
I think this church has a nav mesh, but I don't think it works very well. And I'm not changing it, so go away. For now, this is how I'm going to leave it. Uh, I'm going to add more decorations when I've actually assigned a preacher up here. Um, do we have a floor covering? Yes, we do. Just something to make up here seem a bit more homely for the preacher and his assistant, of course. Uh, I'm tempted just to leave the door of the church off because it's an open it's an open building, it's public, so people can come here any time and, and pray or pay their respects to the the cemetery outside. It feel, feels a bit weird to lock a church up. Nuketown, USA. If I ever build a proper pre-war settlement, I'll just put loads of cars around outside. Dry Rock Gulch. Never been there. Probably will at some point. Build some of the settlements there. Probably kill all the raiders. Never know. Statue. Um... We do have a statue. Problem with the statue is it's a bit fucked up, so. Let's remove him and replace it with a statue that really works. That was actually really good placement for completely blind. It would normally take me a fair bit of refining to do that. There we go. So we actually have a Minuteman statue out here now. Or a Minuteman-esque statue, I should say. Okay, uh, some touches to the outside. Well, like the cemetery and the building over there, I want this to have a quite a colourful look. I say that as the church is a right blue. Like the bluest blue you could ever get. But we're going to go one further. Uh, back to the landscaping that we all know and love right about now. It's foundation edges. Yes, it is. Now, the front of the church here does not have grass. Though there's nothing here to suggest it couldn't have grass around here. Mm, I could make grass a theme in this area. Like I could grass all of this up and turn this into like a little park. Like a grassy cut through. Make a path from there to there like a building. And just have this as a kind of grassy park you know what I'm actually tempted to make this grass a staple of this place it seems a bit weird just to have one one area made of grass of grass so let's uh, let's see if we can keep up some of the trend for as much of this as we can shall we so sink this grass down. Uh, that is probably not going to work as well as I thought it would. But for all intents and purposes it will because we're just going to put a foundation edge over it. And that foundation edge is going to be this beautiful thing. Um, I'm paranoid about accidentally rotating the church. <laughs> Please don't make me rotate the church again. Um, 
lift this up and out ever so slightly and we bring it along the front of the chair and there's gun fighting again. You guys done? Nope. Guys done? Nope. Let's see what this ruckus is about. Good night. Gunner commanders don't tend to work in their solos. Unless he's strayed off from one of the nearby areas. Hmm. Weird. I say they don't normally operate like that. Oh well, never mind. So this uh, thing here. How small would I have to make it for it to fit nicely out the front here? I don't think I can reach that anymore. <laughs> oh god. What have I done? To be honest, that, uh, that doesn't actually look too bad. <laughs> all things considered. But uh, this grass is now looking a little bit out of place. It's fine. Right. This is just sidewalk, so that should not have any grass on it. But we will put down the foundation edge like we were going to anyway. Foundation edge in nice fresh green grass. And Danka. Um, I have a feeling that's like one smaller. No, I'm going to stick with 50. Yeah, 50 is fine. Um, I sunk that a lot more than I wanted to. But that is fine. Just thinking what I can do. Let's get this grass. Put in a half block of it. I can probably snap it along here somewhere. Maybe. I need it to snap like horizontally. Hmm. Not exactly what I had in mind, but probably make it work. It's just so that it doesn't look like there's flowers just sprouting directly out of the pavement. Um, because of its nature, I could camouflage it in the church just a wee bit. That's fine. Looks a little bit like a flower bed. Oh, I'm being stupid. You can tell I'm getting tired because uh, I could just make that into the lush green grass. Oh, such a dipshit. There we are. Um, yeah, that's it. <laughs> no, 
bloody thing. Just tuck this just past the bench. There we go, a bit of green grass. Make the place look a little bit nicer. Uh, so we've got some details out front, which is fine. If that bugs me a little bit later, I can put like a very small like sidewalk edge around it just to frame it. I mean, it wouldn't be completely out of the question to just put sidewalk, uh, replace all these sidewalk pieces with grass and just move the benches forwards. Um, you know what? I'm actually going to do that before I forget. This sidewalk piece can stay. This sidewalk piece can go. And this sidewalk piece can go. Say hello. <laughs> can bring that up. The thing is, I don't actually think there's any saving those pieces. Oh, or is there? Yes, there is. Oh, I thought I'd properly muffed that up. <laughs> oh, God's sake. Uh, I'll replace the flowers later. You know what? I'm getting pressed for time on this one anyway. I know I did two hour videos before, but um, I know that's a lot of content for you guys to digest in one shot, so I'm trying to keep it to one hour. Then again, that two hour video was literally me finishing a build, so stood to reason you wanted a, a nice fat piece of content to, uh, to get you going. I just love it when it snaps. Can you play ball and snap for me? No? Jeez, how high do I have to make this? <laughs> Oh, screw it. Um, this doesn't matter anyway, if it's um, half or a full size. But getting this stuff to snap is uh, frustrating the best of times. That's a curved piece of sidewalk. Yep, uh, bring that down to Whoa, what the... Oh, for... What have I just done? Okay, this... It's is it fine? Or am I gonna have to like no clip under the map for this? <laughs> I might have to no clip under the map for this. <laughs> I'm such an idiot. I am such an idiot. Um well, no, these are rocks. This retaining wall should be in the... Um, should actually be in the retaining wall section. Um, is this replaceable? Hmm, 
has it snatched so much crap? Uh, ugh. Um. Z. Uh, yes, the Z axis I want. That's it. Five. Yeah, this is salvageable, I'm fairly certain. Okay, panic over, guys. Panic over. We're, we've uh, we've saved the build. <laughs> it's fine. That was me thinking. Oh god, I haven't saved in ages as well. Yeah, the retaining wall looks a tad different. What I can do is just scrap that and just put in another one to uh, to keep it at bay. So let's scrap that retaining wall as well. Move that in. Uh, what we'll do is shift that up by 50 units, then put another one, bring that up by 100 units, <laughs> then bring that down by 150, and then that down by 150, and it's almost like we never made a prop, never made a boo boo. Just to blend this wall in a little bit more, I just moved that down by a couple of units and put it That's it. Cool, just made the transition a bit more seamless. <sighs> and breathe. And breathe. Right, full size grass, please. That's fine. Down by fives until we get that into place. Brilliant. And put another grass block in here. I say grass block like uh, like it's Minecraft or some crap like that. God, I hate snapping. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Please just snap to this one. There we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine, ten. Okay, and the outer edges. Okay, I don't need these. Uh, okay, outside edges, that's for actually building a standalone park. That's fair enough. Sidewalks, I think, have some tiles at the end. Yeah, the curbs. I have to place these bloody things as well. <laughs> oh, screw my life. That's it. And can we snap to this one, please? <laughs> Oh, this game doesn't like making things easy, does it? What is a builder to do?
cool. This game hates making things easy. <laughs> And of course you don't line up. Knock on effect, knock on effect. Lovely. Uh, bring this up by a couple of units. Uh, bring this one up by a couple of units and this one up. Excellent. That has made a nice little raised curb here. That was a lot more painful than I wanted it to be. There's a small ridge in the world gapping, uh, world map here, so I'll just put these benches to cover it for now. I'm likely to replace those very soon. All this is intact. Um, I can plant some wildflowers in here. That is a good question, though. I did have some regular old decorations. Am I going structures concrete? Grounded. Nothing in arbor. Caves. That's just structures. Decor. Mounds, boulders, sidewalks. I could have swore somewhere along this section here that, that there were flowers I had like wildflowers ferns I mean, I've got grass mounds but nope nothing in here landscape nope just got Three war building blocks and commonwealth. I'm sure I'll find it. That's probably because I haven't used it in a very long time. So it's it's most likely here. Most likely here. But that is for another time. I have got uh, I've got some sleep to be getting. <laughs> but this is what we've done so far. I mean, Jamaica Plains has already got two large pieces put together. It now has a cemetery and a church, both of which are fully functional. Um, there still is a fair ways to go. I still want to decorate this ground floor of the church. Please, again, if you have ideas, please let me know. Uh, that is part of the terrain, that's fine. Please let me know. Uh, I'll be happy to put them together. Uh, I'll be happy to make an episode purely putting your changes in. But until then, thank you very much for watching. Um, please make sure you like, you comment, you subscribe, you do all that great stuff. Really helps me out, really helps get this series off the ground. But until the next one, peace out, have a good one, and stay safe.